Welcome back everybody. Right, quick update on the GP pointer. So I took it out this morning for an hour on the beach. And the first thing I noticed is when you switch it on, there's a bit of a delay. And there you see it. And that would be when it comes on. It doesn't come on every time. Sometimes it needs a, a bang here or there, but what can I say about it? It's most certainly not a beach pointer. There's no doubt about that. So I said I'd give her another turn and I took her out here, just out to the land for an hour. And um, what can I say? It wouldn't be for me. So the next step is, I think, to be fair, is to take her home and run a couple of air tests. I'm not going to go too deep into it. I mean, after all, I think I, think I have a good feel for it at the minute and I pretty much know what it's about. So I'll take her home and I'll do maybe three or four air tests and stay tuned folks, don't go away because after the air tests we're going to modify this. And what I mean is we're going to open it here on the back and we're going to pull the insides out and I'm going to show you with a couple of simple modifications how you will get serious bang for your buck. So stay tuned guys. Right, air test time, what have we? Cooper nickel half crown. First up is the Gara. Okay, let's just mark that here. And next up the GP. Here was the Gara. <laughs> Right, and we mark the here. So there's a, it's a huge difference already. And next up is the Garrett with the nine carat gold. <laughs> Say there. And of course the GP. So that's around about here. Here. This bag. There's a bit of a difference in that as well, so. So guys, I was going to do another few air tests, but to be honest, I've seen enough, you know. So at this point in time, there's two things you can do with this. You can either A, throw it in the rubbish bin, or B, make some modifications. And that's, I think, what we're going to choose. So hang around, I'll show you how to make some modifications with this. We're going to have to open up the back of it and take out the insides and see if we can get bang for our buck. So what do we need for the modification? We need a Dremel because we need to drill a hole. We're going to need a Phillips screwdriver. And unfortunately dynamite is illegal around these parts. So you're going to have to work with what you have. And that's going to have to be a banger. I'm also going to need a pliers, but I have to go look for that, so I'll get back to you soon. So once you get the back screwed off this, I'm not sure how well you can see that, there's a Phillips screw in there, and that needs to come out. And once that bit's out, you just simply, when you get the screw, this, this piece just pulls out, like that. Don't worry about going too hard on this piece, you won't be needing it again. Right guys, so everything's ready. The hole has been drilled. We have our banger in place. And I'll guarantee you, this will be the last hole that this thing will ever be in.
on to the next one.